midweek worship uh, which is online this week uh, uh, only and I hope that you'll enjoy it and it'll be helpful to you. Shall we start with this call to worship? At this time, in this place, let us worship God with open ears ready to listen and hearts ready to receive, minds willing to be challenged and attitudes given to God. Come, we worship God as one. Let's pray. Loving, gracious God, who does not put us in order, greatest to least, best to worst, loved, most loved least, or any other order. Be with us as we spend time with one another and with you. Help us to listen to you as you speak to us and challenge us, love us and encourage us. Amen. And our first hymn today is Build Your Kingdom Here. Come set your rule and reign in our hearts again. Increase in us, we pray. Unveil why we're made. Come set our hearts ablaze with hope, like wildfire in our very souls. Holy Spirit, come invade us now. Your church, we need your power in us. We seek your kingdom first, we hunger and we thirst, we refuse to waste our lives for your our joy and prize to see the captive hearts released, the hurt, the sick, the poor. Oh, 
and understand God's ways. Prove it by living an honourable life, doing good <laughs> works with the humility that comes from wisdom. But if you are bitterly <coughs> jealous and there is selfish ambition in your heart, don't cover up the truth with boasting and lying, for jealousy and selfishness are not God's kind of wisdom. Such things are earthly, unspiritual, and demonic. For wherever there is jealousy and selfish ambition, there you will find disorder and evil of every kind. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure. It is also peace-loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It is full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. It shows no favouritism and is always sincere. And those who are peacemakers will plant seeds of peace and reap a harvest of righteousness. What is causing the quarrels and fights among you? Don't they come from the evil desires at war within you? You want what you don't have, so you scheme and kill to get it. You are jealous of what others have, but you can't get it, so you fight and wage war to take it away from them. Yet you don't have what you want, because you don't ask God for it. And even when you ask, you don't get it because your motives are all wrong. You want only what will give you pleasure. So humble yourselves before God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come close to God and God will come close to you. Wash your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, for your loyalty is divided between God and the world. So let's just pray. Dear Lord, as we think about what James wrote and we think about how it means for us, the, we pray that it may help us and enable us to serve you more fully. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, uh, there's quite a bit in that passage, quite a bit of which I spoke on, on Sunday about uh, the importance or values of uh, our kingdom of God, which are very different from the values of the world around about us. And James concludes with that uh, lovely passage of scripture where he says, come close to God and God will come close to you. And he proceeds it with humble yourselves. Humble yourselves. What does humble ourselves mean? Does it mean that we are to uh, make ourselves nothing? No, no, it doesn't mean that. It means we are to see ourselves in the right light. We are to see ourselves as God sees us, valuable, important beings, but of no greater value than other valuable and important beings. Not those who've achieved what we have because of our own merit, but those who have achieved what we have because God has given us uh, the gifts and skills and talents, the upbringing, the opportunities and so on that have enabled us to do what we want. There are those who think that it's just their hard work which enables them to get what they have, uh, but so few have uh, achieved anything purely on hard work alone. Most need some kind of leg up, some kind of leg up from God, from 
their creation from these what they already have or from uh, where they've been put in life and uh, yet that doesn't mean that we should be lazy James isn't uh, espousing the idea that we should uh, simply say well if God's going to achieve everything for me I don't need to do anything but rather that we join in to God and help get from God the strength and help to move forward and to do what he wants and come close to God for that's what James says he says humble yourself and then he says draw close to God and God will draw close to you it's as we seek first the kingdom of God and love our neighbours as ourselves those two great commandments that Jesus helps us to see that we love the Lord our God with all our heart and soul as we seek to do his will and as we put some effort into it then he comes close to us and empowers us and enables us as we seek to balance our own value against the value of other as we love our neighbour as ourselves then we are able to put ourselves in the right perspective and achieve what is good for us what is of the kingdom of God James before this he precedes it with saying that they're all arguing and quarreling over various things because they want to make themselves greater than one another they want to have things that the others have that they haven't got and yet he says that's not what we should be we should be those who want to see the others flourish just as much as we want to see ourselves flourish that we shouldn't be having fights and quarrels in the church that we should be finding ways of creating peace and harmony and love and that we should be working on that and he uh, encourages us to be those who by doing the will of God by seeking out the will of God uh, build a kingdom that is righteous and holy that is peaceable and full of purity a place where we understand ourselves uh, know, knowing that we really aren't hugely significant in the world there will be uh, many who come after us many who've come before us we are small bit players sometimes I find that I go to places and I uh, see how many people there are and I think what am I who am I where am I doing what what is it well what it is is something small and important to God something small and important to those who love me and who I serve those who I'm close to and those who I seek to serve who don't yet really appreciate what's being done and uh, that's a, a worthwhile thing it's not going to be a great world changer uh, I don't expect but it is something small and valuable and that's what it is it's nothing more nothing less it's not nothing but it's not uh, the be all and end all of everything and even those who have great power are not the be all and end all of everything they too need to be servants and recognize their position within the whole of uh, history and within their own area and recognize the position of others around them so it is that we need to be those who try and live like this if we are to live in the kingdom of God and we will find that there is a great peace and a great satisfaction as we seek to be peacemakers as we seek to be those who draw close to God and allow him to draw close to us we will find that peace which passes all understanding which enables us to function even in a dysfunctional world even when things aren't going the way we want even when we're not getting what we want which enable us to function well for the sake of others when they are getting more than us and well for the sake of others when for so whatever reason we seem to be getting more than them we pray that God may help us Amen We're going to offer ourselves to God using this song, All That I Am. One, two. Oh, 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 oh. Everything 
hands on the altar now No holding back, no holding out In view of your matchless sacrifice Take every treasure, take this life disclose the purposes of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us admit our failures and weaknesses. Jesus said, anyone who wants to be first must be last. Lord, for the times I've put myself first or argued with people because I think I know better than them or that I am better than them, Lord, please forgive me and teach me my rightful place in you. Jesus said, anyone who wants to be first must be last. Lord, for the times when I don't want to be a servant because I think I'm capable of greater things. Lord, Lord please, please forgive, forgive me. And, and teach, teach me, me my rightful place in you. Jesus said, anyone who wants to be first must be last. Lord, when I don't recognise Christ in those around me, because I'm too busy looking out for myself, Lord, Lord please, please forgive me and teach, teach me my rightful place in you. Jesus said, anyone who wants to be first must be last. 
Lord, when I don't understand what people mean, perhaps not understanding their feelings of fear or inadequacy, Lord, Lord please, please forgive, forgive me and, and teach me my rightful place in you. Jesus said, anyone who wants to be first must be last. Lord, when I jostle for position rather than being happy where you put me. Lord, please, please forgive, forgive me and, and teach me my rightful place in you. You challenge us, Lord, when we do wrong. You get us to focus by asking questions, even though you know the answers. Your image is present in each one of us. When we confess our sins, you are always there to forgive us. We stand now humbly in your presence, forgiven, acknowledging that you are the greatest. Amen. Lord, we pray for all who have decisions to make today or who face difficulties or challenges in their lives. We pray for those who are making decisions on behalf of others and those whose decisions affect lives other than their own. We pray that they may have courage to do what is right and the vision to see what is important when there are so many other distractions. We pray that they may all have the wisdom that comes from you, pure, peace-loving, gentle and merciful. We pray for your church in all her diversity, that she may seek you above all, that you may grant her discernment and compassion. We pray that we may yield good fruit in our lives, not lording it over others or squabbling about what we deserve, but instead considering the needs of others first. Let us receive as we have been received, forgive as we have been forgiven, and love as we have been loved. For Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. And we pray together. Our Dad in heaven above, let everyone look up to you and the area where you are in charge grow. May what you want happen on earth as perfectly as it does in heaven. Please give to us what we need for today. Forgive us when we think or do wrong things, just as we don't hold it against those who hurt us. Guide us away from whatever we might want, but is unhelpful to us, and protect us from all that is nasty and destructive. For you are in charge of everything, you have the power to do it, and you are awesome. You always were, you are now, and always will be. Amen.
purify my heart. Let me be as gold and precious silver. Purify my heart. Let me be as gold. Pure. shine with your love, listen with your ears, and speak words of kindness and hope to everyone we meet. In your name. Amen. Amen. May your heart be at peace, and your mind be at rest. May you be confident in who you are and share God's gifts of light, hope and grace with those you meet and those you pray for. And may the blessing of God fill your hearts with hope this day and evermore. Amen. <laughs>